Of course, it's always a pleasure to be part of uh, DICM. Uh, I was a, a speaker last year as well. Um, it's just a nice place to connect with other industry professionals from different aspects of the industry. I myself am more on the governmental side, but you know, I shared a panel with the producer, director, and I think that's a good indication of the type of talent that uh, is brought together here uh, in DICM. Um, people from all different aspects, different stakeholders of the industry coming together. So content is nothing new, of course, to the region or to the world. Uh, what I think is shifting, particularly here in the region, is how people consume that content. So there's a lot of talk, uh, rightly so, about the way the eyes, attention spans are shifting to digital content, digital first, whether it's on platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or uh, streaming platforms like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu. Um, that's certainly reflected here in the region, you know, more than ever before. You see people uh, in the youth demographic, people under 25, watching, if not all of their content, 90 plus percent of their content on digital uh, platforms. And so the way content is created needs to also accommodate to that. And I also think that the way the talent pool will go in the future is related to that. So, um, you know, the Dubai Film and TV Commission, uh, we have a strong focus on developing the digital first sector, uh, helping to identify talent, connect them with the right stakeholders uh, in the industry to help them develop their talent, uh, make a, a career out of it, uh, be successful in that regard, and also helping to foster them in a pipeline of people that we really believe will be the future of the creative industry here. Uh, so, you know, longer term, and you're seeing this in other markets as well, uh, people who started on YouTube are now making Netflix. Netflix uh, program, people who started on Facebook are directing films. These are things where you're going to see longer form content come out of people who started making shorter form content online. I think that um, what needs to be happening more in the industry as a whole is that people need to be identifying talent at the early stages because more than just the you know the cheaper let's say um, cost of you know working with up and coming talent, uh, developing long term relationships with those talent are how you're going to have a steady pipeline of creative uh, material, whether it's for TV or film in the future. Finding those people at a early stage in their career, working with them over years and years and years, developing that trust is how you're going to guarantee that you are still relevant in five, ten years time. If we keep going back to the same well, if we keep relying on the same people who are aging out of, uh, should we say, the, the content uh, market, uh, are not connecting with the youth as much anymore, who are the, you know, the, the, the core demographic, core audience that will be growing up and consuming content in the future, then you're going to find that you're getting less and less return. So it is very much, I think, uh, incumbent on anyone and everyone to identify up and coming talent and work with them from now so that you lock in that relationship uh, for the long term. DSCM uh, always brought together interesting sort of stakeholders from different parts of the world. Uh, you see so they reflected, but it is very much focused, I think, this year on uh, Middle Eastern Arabic language content. Uh, and obviously the conference as well is very much focused on, on uh, those types of buyers, uh, so that is good. Uh, there's a huge opportunity with the opening up of the Saudi market. Uh, I think this is the perfect time for anyone to refocus on Gulf content, Arabic language content. Uh, this is a good place to do that.